morning, MFers. Hope you guys are having an amazing freaking day. As you can see, we're not doing any ice fishing today. I packed up the boat, headed south. As you guys might know from watching my channel, I get a little itchy in the winter if I'm out just ice fishing constantly. I need to go make some casts, and I came to one of my favorite places in the entire freaking world down in the Ozarks. Now, I made about a five to six hour drive last night, stayed at a kind of interesting Airbnb last night been getting a ton of comments lately i always have gotten a lot of comments about catching fish catching bass which is what we're gonna be targeting today when it is super cold outside in the winter as you guys can see it is cold outside indeed and so we're gonna do some winter bass and hopefully share some tips and help you be able to go out and catch those green dudes bronze dudes there's four species of bass in here i'm freaking stoked let's get the boat launch get out there and uh start slaying Okay, MFers. Oh my god, it feels good to be back out. Being able to make some casts again. I like the ice fishing stuff, sort of, kind of, a little bit, occasionally, somewhat. But it feels so good to be back out. Being able to just let it fly, lay back on a hook set. You guys know what it's all about. So like I tell you guys, it's important to do every single time we go out and try to get a, uh, a bite on somewhere we haven't fished in a while. We're going to fish some stuff we fished in the past to try to get an idea of what the hell these fish are doing. Always good to start in places where you caught them in the past. Definitely not good to fish those the entire time because you don't learn anything. Water is actually a lot more stained than I've ever seen it. Um, it's pretty bluebird right now, not a lot of wind. It's supposed to pick up to like 10 miles an hour this afternoon. So I'm thinking we're gonna kind of drag for a little bit this morning. For those of you that watch my channel a lot, it's old news. For those of you that have never watched my channel or it's one of the first times, maybe you just watched the ice fishing videos, this right here is a tube. It's magical, therefore I call it the magic tube and it catches fish really well. Let's catch some. Hey, a fish. That's weird. Ain't just coming right at me. <laughs> oh, hi, bud. Yeah. Why don't you come in the boat? Let's do that. That's actually not a bad fish for this lake. Had to move out to a main lake point with some wind blowing on it, so naturally picked up the old crankbait that curves, the uh, the six cents curve. That dude right there. Actually, a pretty long solid fish two and a half pounder or so man i've been fishing for a while to make that happen well thanks for playing along bud wait what the heck what was that i've never seen that rod before anyways yeah i've been fishing for about two hours now finally stopped fishing stuff i've fished in the past and started fishing some stuff that should be good today and uh rewarded with this guy i'll take him now like i said these are ozark like these lakes are like the best pattern lakes of anywhere that i've ever fished and so now that we're on like kind of a rounded off main lake point with wind on it you bet your ass we're gonna we're gonna start fishing a whole bunch more stuff that looks like this nothing too exciting about the bank here little tiny chunk rocks but um figured with the the water is a little bit stained we got wind blowing out of the sun's out it'd be a good time to start doing some cranking out on the main lake nice deep water access pow pow <laughs> There we go. 17 years later. Took long enough. Oh, hey, bud. Yeah, bud. Finally. God dang. Can't tell you guys how hard I've had to work for dudes that look like this. This is only the second fish I've landed today in like seven hours. I'm not even kidding. That's bad. This guy ate the old magic tube. I don't know. Can't hate it. Okay. Things are improving, MFers. Things are, ooh, what do we got here? Do we got big in? Are we side hooked or what? Confused mostly? All right, yep, things are happening. Okay, okay, okay. Is this a spot of bass? Yeah, big spot. It's a good spot for this lick. Bloop, bloop. Did I say uh, something about a magic tube? Look at that, that's a nice little two and a half plus pound spot ed bass this is ed the spot ed bass guy okay, ate it on the fall i think we're gonna put down the poles and uh yeah but things are happening finally finally getting some fish i'll take it so i'm fishing a secondary point that i already fished this morning i don't i don't know maybe it's just like a later in the day deal which oftentimes it is especially when the sun's been shining on it all day doing the same thing i was doing earlier they're just uh they're biting now, which I will freaking take. It's been a struggle bus times a thousand. 
Gotcha, sucker. This is unbelievable. I can't believe I'm finally catching some. That's not even a bad one. Boom. It's happening. It's happening. Good thing the poles are down. They need to be. Look at that. We got bait on the screen down there. You guys can't see it. Here, let's get in there. We got bait up top. We got fish down there. We got a fish right here. Got the poles. We got multi-species. Take the poles off because the wind's blowing zero. All right, buddy. Thanks for playing. Another one. Yes. Yes. Not a big. I don't think anyway. But my God, does it feel good. Oh, not a bad one at all. Hey, bud. I don't know where you were the whole day, but I guess it's okay because we didn't give up. We stayed out. We're catching fish again. Another two pound keeper. Not keeping them today, obviously, but man, it is crazy this time of year how fast things can happen. Well, this has been like an amazing, pleasant surprise. I've literally been fishing the entire day. You guys haven't seen what's been going on, but I've been bouncing around fishing all different types of cover. Fish bluffs, windblown stuff, slick calm stuff, deep stuff, shallow stuff, about everything I can possibly think of, and I've just missed a couple bites is it. But then I just moved up here to a spot on a secondary point, and out off the drop off in about 22 to 23 feet of water, there's fish absolutely freaking stacked down there, which is one thing I always tell you guys in the winter when it gets really cold outside, don't give up on your day because a lot of times those bites come late in the day and a lot of times when you get a bite there's going to be a whole bunch more fish down there it kind of feels a little bit repetitive making another video about this uh this stupid super effective super secret magic tube but it's absolutely deadly effective in this clean clear rocky habitat water ozarks lake throwing it on a 7.5 heavy six cents lux rod like i throw my swim jigs and jigs and stuff on and then i got this brand new daiwa tattoo i found a really good deal at it um, on, on shopcarls.com. So I got it cheaper than anywhere and I'm freaking, I'm in love with this thing. Seven three to one gear ratio, 15 pound test floor carpet. I'm not doing anything crazy here. Casting out, letting it go to the bottom, dragging it super, super slow with like a half ounce weight. You guys ask me all the time about what I used to, to throw this tube on. So I'll link everything down below. But yeah, we got about an hour left of daylight. I'm gonna fish more secondary points, deep rocky cover just like this. Cause uh, yeah, we're on them. Oh, okay. That is a fish. That little peckerhead was just, just chewing on it. Just chewing on it down there. Ooh, this guy's got some cool spottage on his head in the top of his body. Look at this guy. I caught a mutant fish. Rare mutant fish. Look at that. The heck, bud. Oh, God. He's jumping. He's out of control. I better get him back in the water because we got fish all over the graph right now. Goodbye, Mr. Spots. This is what I'm talking about when I say they're on the screen, guys. So it doesn't look like much, but that green line on the bottom, that's like a hard rock bottom. Right above it, right there, there's a fish. There's a fish up here. There's this guy back here kind of streaking around. Yeah, they're, they're kind of coming up. They're, they're moving around. I think they're swimming around quite a bit. But yeah, that's what I'm talking about when I say that I'm seeing fish down there 22 to 25 feet deep out off this secondary point. I don't, I don't know. I've caught them here in the past. Not a whole lot of rhyme or reason other than there's good, hard, rocky habitats down there. I'm not gonna ask questions. I'm just gonna set hooks, I guess. There we go. Another one. I'm waiting for one of these to be a big. This isn't him. Oh, what do we got here? What do we got here, guys? That's called dadgum trifecta is what we got here. The small jawed bass. Thought he bit a little bit different. You know, small mouths bite so much different. What do you know? Small jawed baths. Also like the tube. Three species, one tube, one-ish spot across the lake to a spot that's almost, it's the same type of spot. Secondary point, rock drop off, poles drop, pow pow. Time to get a big. Let's end the night with a big. This has been an amazing end to a terrible day of fishing. I think we're in, we're in store for a giant. Okay, I'm just gonna hide under the boat. This guy's a boat hider, a dirty boat hider. Oh, they're so pretty in that clean water. Not as clean as usual, but. Hey, mister, what do we got here? Spotted bass, another spot. The crazy thing is a lot of people are talking, another probably about 15 inch spot. Anyways, all these dudes here were like, 
The spotted bass in this lake, for the most part, are not keepers, 15 inch keepers, that is. And I'm like, okay, we've caught like, I have no idea how many now, three spots? One was a big, but they, all these fish have been like good ones here. I was getting ready to pull that up and I popped it and something popped it back. So I let it sit there for a second because these fish haven't been that aggressive with their bites. And all of a sudden that little turkey was just, he kept holding on to it. I felt weight, so I, I, I stuck him. I know rocket science. You didn't know how hook sets worked and fish biting. All right, things are, things are happening, guys. Things are really turning on here. I like this. Yep. Oh, we lost one, guys. That one absolutely crushed it, which makes me think he was a peckerhead anyways. I don't like to lose the pecker heads even though, especially when you've barely had a bite all day, but I'll take it because, hey, things are things are actually happening. You guys are probably like, oh, we should take a drink for every time he says things are actually happening and drop the polls in this video. You know what? Go ahead and do that, guys. Take a drink. Because I want to go home and take a bunch of drinks after fishing today because I am super happy that it is actually turned on. Drop the polls. Oh, hey, we done got ourselves a blade fish, dirty little blade eater. And I bet I snagged a dirty little blade eater. I did. What kind of ones do we got here? We got ourselves another bronze wand. We do got a bronze wand. Hey, he tried to get it, dang it. That's actually my first ever small jaw on the blade. Don't mind my hook action. Man, that's the jankiest hook ever. It got stuck in a rod sleeve. That's why you don't use the mesh rod sleeves. You go buy yourself some six cents neoprene ones. Unfortunately, I have about 18 six cents neoprene ones and about 19 rods. So we still got one of those left and this is what happens. Now we gotta form it back to make it look somewhat like a hook. There, sort of. I don't even know if this guy's worth trying. Ow. I mean, really all I do is snag fish anyways. I might as well leave the gap like that, right? Yeah, that's what a treble's supposed to look like. It is late and I am echoey out here. Man, it is freaking dark. I fished dark to dark today. Didn't really set the earth on fire, obviously, but hey, we ended up catching a whole bunch of fish on our secret little tuber. Let me let me get closer to a light up here because it's freaking dark. There we go. I'm in the, the general vicinity kind of of a light. So hopefully you can see me anyways. Long day on the water today, but totally rewarding day on the water today to make it finally happen. Ended up, like I told you guys, getting them on those secondary, rounded secondary points with chunk rock way out in 20, 25 feet of water. I caught the majority on that too, but I think I was fishing maybe a little bit too shallow uh, for a lot of today because I was trying to throw some crankbaits. I got some new rods I'm putting, trying to put a bend in, you know, test them out a little bit. And we did get one on the curb, but besides that, just one on the blade at the end, but that stupid magic tube did the freaking trick again. I'll link everything down below used in the video. Hopefully you guys like the winter fishing videos. Drop a thumbs up if you do like those videos and I will keep making them of course. I needed to mix it up, uh, get away from the ice fishing for just a little bit and it's kind of getting not safe. It's like in the 40s now in Nebraska. Ice was already only like three or four inches so I'm not feeling the best about it. You know how I feel. I'm lucky to be freaking alive but yeah, i uh, not really sure where I'm going tomorrow. I think I might go to Lake of the Ozarks. I might go to Palm de Terre. I don't freaking know. Um, I'm just going to enjoy it and uh, have a good time down here. Make some casts uh, outwards instead of straight down a hole and hopefully catch some slaunches. Anyways, thanks so much for watching this video. I'll catch you guys very soon. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine.